doing seen me on Instagram here lately, then you must not know that your girl got some new eyebrows. Of course, these eyebrows are my same regular old, regular old eyebrows, but I've been doing my eyebrows a little differently for the past couple of days and I figured why not share it with y'all because it's new to me so it's new to y'all you know what I'm saying I'm going to be using a brow pomade I'm not going to mention the brand because here lately I have discovered some things about the brand that I'm just not I'm just not fond of so anyway grab your dip brow pomade so we can get started and I'm going to take my Anastasia number 12 brush it has a brush on one end and a spoolie on the other. So I'm going to brush my brow hairs up to get them out of the way because the way that I create the shape of these brows is by being able to see the root of my hairs down here. Basically what I'm going to do is look for the very bottom of my brows. So even the tiniest little hairs, that's kind of low to be honest with y'all, matter of fact. Let me go ahead and wipe that off. And I am going to create a nice little low part right here. And that's going to be down at an angle because I want to create an arch without changing the actual shape of my brow hairs. And so I'm just going to connect that again. I am going across the bottom part of my brows. So all of the roots is where it's at, y'all. This is the only part of the routine that actually has to be neat. Everything else can kind of sort of be sloppy. So I'm just gonna fill in the gaps right here. Right chill, filling in these gaps. And you wanna work as quickly as possible because the brow pomades, usually they set pretty quickly depending on the formula. So if you have one that dries fast, I would definitely suggest blending the front out as much as possible before moving forward. Now what I'm gonna do is pretty much just sweep the brow pomade out towards the edges of my brow hair. So I'm not really creating a shape necessarily. I do want the tail to be pretty full, but I'm not going in and being precise about it. And you'll see why in a minute. So I'm being pretty sloppy here not really creating a shape and i'm just taking my brush and fanning what's left on my brush through my brow hairs now if you really care about having a tail then i definitely would suggest you going ahead and making one for yourself but if you plan on following this brow routine specifically it's not necessary matter of fact it might even be a waste of time so now what i'm going to do is take my brush and i'm going to start right here where all of the product is kind of sort of sitting you can actually wipe off your brush at this point which is what i'm going to do because you won't need any extra product and i'm literally just brushing it forward like this brush 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 and like i said depending on how fast your pomades dry this may or may not actually do anything but I'm just going to brush it forward and I'm being really light handed as I get towards my whatever you call this right here. <laughs> and the reason why I'm being light handed is because I really don't want any lines of demarcation and I don't want any spotting. So I'm just going to brush through like that. Even creating some little hairs. And at this point, you kind of just want to check and make sure your arch is where you want it to be. Make sure everything is blended, yada yada, just like that. And that's what that looks like. Now this is not the end of the brow, okay? Because I know some of y'all are probably like, well, that wasn't very impressive. But wait, there's more. Many ladies out there know exactly what this is. Girl, I know. What is she doing with hair gel in a brow tutorial? I'm about to show you, sis. I'm about to show you. As you may already know, Eco Styler Gel is generally used to help with defining uh, curls or even laying down your edges, whatever you use it for. So what I like to do is take a clean spoolie. I like to take a clean spoolie and go around the edges of my container. And then what I'll do is, and usually there's not 
it's not super saturated so I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the gel off because I don't need a lot of gel just enough for my brows and I will literally brush my brow hairs up just like that and the difference between the eco styler gel and a regular brow gel is this gel has more hold to it so it's going to make my brow hairs not only stay in place but I can actually make them stand up, which is not how my brows normally work. Normally my brow hairs kind of sort of lay down. They don't really, they, they don't get the memo when I use brow gel. So I like using this Eco Styler gel instead. And this is something that was taught to me by two of my friends who work for Mac. I'll tag their usernames down here. On the video but two of my girls that work for Matt and they kind of basically just told me like girl you better grab your eco styler girl and you can get, get your brows as bushy as you want them to be and so that's pretty much what I do with these brows that's pretty much how I do my new brows and I will wait for the gel to dry down just a little bit and go back in and kind of give it some more volume right up in here get them to stand up like I really want them to give me that nice full fluffy brow so if there are any sparse areas I'll just go back into my brow pomade and I'll fill it in just like that and it's super easy not difficult at all and if you already have full eyebrows this is even easier to accomplish for you because you don't have to fill in as much. And depending on which direction your hair grows on your eyebrows, you won't have trouble with the gel either. Okay, so now that my brows are all bushy and messy, I'm going to go ahead and conceal them. And this is what makes the brows look really, really pretty is when you conceal them. And the reason why is because it just adds a little touch of neatness to the look. So I'm going to take this LA Girl Pro Concealer. In the shade Fawn, it's the shade that everybody and their mama use, I know, I know. And I'm going to take a nice flat brush and I'm going to flatten it even more using the concealer. Just like that. Starting in my arch, or not my arch, my little, the front of my brow. I'm going to swipe clear across the bottom of my brow and I'm also going to go ahead and clean it up and give it the shape that I really want it to have. So you want to make sure that you're paying really close attention, um, getting a couple different perspectives on your brow, whether it's close up and far away, so you can really see what it actually looks like and not just what is in front of you, if that makes any sense. So I'll look in my small mirror and I'll look in my big mirror. And to be honest with you, I'm really, really loving this bushy brow. I feel like the more I do it, the bigger my brow gets, but I'm okay with that because I like naturally full brows. I always have. Um, thinner brows are cool. You know, they, they work for the people who like to wear them, but I just feel like I've always had my natural brows and so bigger brows, bushier brows, I've always been drawn to them. I've always wanted to have fuller brows naturally. Um, I mean, I have eyebrow hair, obviously, but it's not as dense as some other people's. But I love big bushy brows. Now I kind of wish that I was going somewhere because my brows is popping. <laughs> no more bald forehead, okay? And to the ladies that create these brow hairs from scratch, honey, I don't know how y'all do it. Y'all are, y'all are amazing. Like I, I could never, I don't want to. <laughs> that is how I do my naturally bushy brows. Of course they are not natural, but they are bushy. They are full and they look like it from far away. Okay. Okay. So I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Um, go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up for your Tell me what you want to see next down below. And I will see y'all.